All right. Hello, Jennings, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Uh. So yeah, I just got here, but it yeah. seems that you have there was no been prep doing time. Stuff. There was no prep time this time for Jenga, but there was for me. I've been sitting here for the last 40 minutes because I figured something out. So ready, Jacob? Watch this. Okay. Blink and you'll miss it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but there wasn't any bandits there. <laughs> Watch the bottom left of the screen, okay? Alright. Oh damn it, it didn't work that time. Every now and then it doesn't work, but watch the counter of the enemies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Did you just nuclear strike? Yes! <laughs> so, alright, so now for the explanation, now that you've seen the chaos that is this shit. So, <laughs> I went online to figure out if there was a way I could get money fast so that we could get that armor before we start. The cool one, that is. Yeah. Um, and what I learned... Besides the fact that there is a constant fucking fly in here, and I can't get rid of it for the life of me. Okay, I would not do it with my bare hands, but... I don't know if I got it. I don't think okay. you did. It would be gross if you did. It's really big. You can use a bottle if you want to crush it. Just don't hit, like, glass or anything with the bottle, obviously. I think I managed to scare it up. It'll be back, trust me. It's been doing this to me for, like, a week. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, actually. <laughs> Shout out to my previous streams I've been running where I repeatedly on stream keep going it's a fucking fly again and then chasing it around during a stream <laughs> so okay so what I figured out and I'll explain this while doing it because I might as well get the money what I figured out is that and I didn't figure this out actually I went online to look this up I went online to find sometimes online, to find the best strat to get money as fast as possible in Ratchet Clank 2 um whatever this one is going commando that's the name of it yeah and uh, what people suggested is that on this city, I think it's Gorn is this map, I could be wrong about that. Um, you start the second ship challenge, challenge number two right here. Fight the bandits. Yep. And then you immediately launch a nuke at this wall, and it kills all of them instantly. <laughs> Meaning you just immediately get the reward. Wow. So you can do this and get 2,750 volts every like three seconds <laughs> by just doing this Holy crap! and that was what people suggested to me so what I did well we needed the nuke I didn't have the nuke so then I looked up how to farm raritanium and I found the optimal strat for that which was another ship level because you only get raritanium from the ship levels and from the mining technically but nobody yeah. wants to there's do no the way I'm doing that and I figured out um because we only had eight Aerita uh, Raritanium when I started. I figured out um, the, the map that has uh, the optimal setup for that. So ships, general like non-boss ships, drop it with, like I guess, the same rate, pretty much. So it doesn't matter which ships it is. So you just want to find a map that has a lot of ships with very small health so you can kill them fast. Mm -hmm. The guide said to use the nuke on that map, too. But since I was getting the Raritanium to get the nuke, I had to actually kill them normally. Okay. But, um, anyway, that's how I got 60 Raritanium. It took me 15 minutes. Okay. And, uh, that's yeah, and then I bought the nuke, and then I came here, and I've been doing this for the other, uh, 35 or so minutes that I've been here. So do we know how much money we have? Um, no, I haven't checked since I started. Uh, well, we might have enough. We might. I'm gonna check. Um, let's go to Galactic Map. Uh, we would want to go to, where's the place that has it? Um, is it the new place? It might be. Or it's here. It, I think it's the one right before the new place. So it's this. Uh, it or it doesn't matter, because the armor vendors are all the same. Right, yeah. We could go to that other shop, but... Um, the one in front of this place. Yeah. The, the one we were walled off on for a while. Yeah. We could do that. If this is wrong, then we can do that. But anyway, I don't know how many I have, but it's about to tell me, probably. I think it tells you when you start. No, it doesn't. I'll have to break the crate to find out. No, so we don't have enough, but we're getting, like, we're, like, 75% of the way there. Whoa, we're 
halfway there. Whoa! Chair. <laughs> because I think Chair. it... Chair. I don't know if it's the rhino or if it's the um, power arm, but one of them requires a million and the other requires 1.5 million. The armor, I think, is 1 million, I believe. Okay. If it's 1.5 million, I am going to kill myself. <laughs> That's unrelated to anything. Alright, well, I'm just I guess gonna be mad. I guess we're going to have to find some, uh, something to talk about while you're farming. Yeah. For the oh, God here's something power. we can talk about. There's a weird glitch here. I don't know why it happens. Where if you select the thing too fast, you are playing the level and the menu is still here. I don't know why that happens, but there you go. There's a piece of information for you. Also, apparently, I didn't select the nukes. Well, that didn't work because I didn't do it fast enough. So, do they all spawn out of the mountain or something? They spawn, I think, like, around the mountain, I believe. Because you can see some of them in the back there. Okay, I don't know why yeah. it kills all of them, but it just does. It's just a fucking global effect. It's not supposed to be, and it isn't, because sometimes it doesn't work. So, obviously, there is some limited range. It's just so fucking massive, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, 90% of the time. Good So, yeah. Um... How's your day been, Jacob? <laughs> it's been good. Um, the other day I finally finished 100% into the Blade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Oh, nice. You've been talking about that. So, yeah. I, On I, I, I fucking finally finished it. Cool. Aside it's the end of the saga. Yes. Aside from the, like, knickknacks and items, but I wasn't counting that in because there's just so much room. Yeah. That it just doesn't. Work. And most of it doesn't even do that. Yeah. I actually also finished something uh, over this past week that I've been working on. Uh -oh, um, I've been working on, uh, I don't know if you know, um, I have a Dark Souls build for PC okay. um, called Princess Rose. Alright. Where I made a guild that casts every, every type of spell. <laughs> nice. And. Uh, I've been trying to get every spell in the game mm -hmm. for a while, but the problem is a good portion of them are locked behind covenant rewards, which means I basically have to do every fucking covenant, which sucks dick, because the covenants are stupid, and there's, there's basically two ways to get the covenant rewards. You either have to play online, which means dealing with trolls and assholes, especially on PC where they can hack, yep. or... You have to fucking farm an enemy for an incredibly rare drop for 30 of them. Great. It's like a 0.3% chance of dropping on each one. Oh, which yeah. means, on average, you're going to have to kill something like 10,000 enemies to one. fucking do it. Yeah. No, I'm actually curious. 0.3, so if it's... Up. It's a it's a 0 0.3 or it's a 0 0.03. Actually, uh, since you have your phone out anyway, Google, before you do the math, Google... Um, uh, shit. It's, uh... It's not Pale Tongues, it's, um... Well, one of them's Pale Tongues. Yeah, but that's actually one of the few that you don't need. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what the hardest one to get is, because that's the one that I remember. Um, uh... Proof of Concord Kept is what it's called. Proof? Proof of Concord that's Kept. And I then clicked the wrong Google search. <laughs> and then go to the go to the Dark Souls 3 wiki when you get that. It'll probably be the first thing that comes up. And then you should find how to obtain and there it tells you the multiplayer method and it tells you there's like two that you can actually find on the map. Blood, um, blood drain shrunken ear. Souvenir taken for severe to go. So this is Blades of the Dark. Yes. Blades of the Dark and tribute item. Tradable between players. Locations. No, invaders. Trading. Extremely rare drop from Silver Knights in Inner Londo. Does it not say the percentage? Okay, go to Silver Knights then. It'll probably have the actual percentage. It's there. a silver, silver, silver Knights. Let's hope that drops. Drops. Uh, no, it's just a recursive loop. It does not. God damn it. I, I think it's point three. Um, 
So if it's important, maybe maybe you could try chance of drop. But it, do, it doesn't matter. It's, it's say it's a point three for now. It might be point zero three, which would be way different. Which is why I wanted to look it up first. Right. So point. So if it's point three percent. Yes, point three percent. Then I need to divide one by zero point zero three to determine how many enemies I need to defeat in order to get. Them. Which is 33.3 yeah. silver knights. And then I needed 30, 30 proof of concrete caps. So 33.3 times 30 is 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, I had to kill 1,000 fucking dudes. Uh, On average. And my luck was bad. Uh, Not just because my luck stat is bad, because I consider luck a dump stat. But also, <laughs> because my personal own luck, not the stat, but me, my real life stats luck is bad. So I didn't get one very often. Yeah, because not all of the Silver Knights drop uh, item orbs. Yeah, sometimes they just... Actually, the Silver Knights almost always do. The thing is, 90% of the time, it's their armor pieces. Yeah. And uh, Dark Knights always drop uh, uh, cracked red eye orbs. Okay. Which I only mentioned because I needed to kill Dark Race for a Pale Tongue uh, for my bow build. And also for... Um, I needed to fix Princess Rose's stats because I accidentally invested something in the wrong stat. Which resulted in me having wasted stats, so I wanted to use a Pale Tongue to reset her stats. Okay. Which I did. Okay. I wasn't listening to both, but I left. So. That's fine. It doesn't matter. So Justin was trying to solicit advice about one of his fucking uh, custom classes. Oof. Um, so yeah, why did you actually do that? Do what? Why did you actually do that? Get every single spell? Yeah. Primarily my own OCD. You get achievements for it. Um, I was really close to having every spell in the game anyway, so I was like, fuck it, I'm getting every goddamn spell. Well, I'm, I'm like, why don't you just give me a plus and stay open forever or something? What do you mean? Like, take one of your characters, like, I'm assuming... Oh, you mean, like, start with characters that have certain spells and then... Yeah. Well, for one, on and PS... On PS4, I have tons of characters with tons of shit. Yeah. On PC, Princess Rose is my farthest along build. Oh. Yeah. I was like, well, if you're like 50% on one character, 30% on another character, maybe you'll have most of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can't trade spells between builds. No, I'm saying like, how does... The oh yeah, I didn't work? just do it for the achievement. I wanted it literally on one character. I was thinking, like, does the achievement, like, allow you... Does it, the achievement compile from one of the characters? Or do you have to have them? I'm not sure when it comes to each school of magic, but I know that there's separate achievements for each school of magic. So I know for a fact that if you had one character who had all the sorceries, you would get the sorcery one. Right. And then another character with miracles. You could do that, yes. Mm -hmm. Um I'm assuming that But I don't know if it I don't know if you could have one character have half of the sorcery or whatnot. Um and anyway I wanted to have every every spell on that build. Because the entire purpose of the build is it's a magic build in a game that you're not supposed to do magic builds in. <laughs> and uh, basically, because if you wield um, if you wield uh, the crystal chime, which is a it's a it's a chime weapon. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. There. If you wield the crystal chime, you can cast both sorceries and miracles with it. Oh, interesting. And then, on top of that, um, you know, because you've played the first Dark Souls, that Pyromancy uses both mental stats. Um, in the first game, Pyromancy has a mental stat. Really? It, yeah. it doesn't scale? It doesn't scale either? Um, I don't think so. Oh. I'm pretty sure Pyromancy's just scale with, like, um, level of the Pyromancy. Oh, I was pretty sure it was, um... I'm pretty sure it was both mental stats. It is in three anyway. It's both in three, but yeah. in one, it's nothing. It scales with no stats. That's actually really weird. 
But anyway, since like, I had both mental both, and uh, well, that's because, both mental stats. That's because in uh, Dark Souls 1, Pyromancy serve a different niche in the game than they do in 3. Because I, I'm not, I know I'm sidetracking your conversation. I don't know where you're going with this at all. Like, at, at least in 1, the point of Pyromancy is it's something you can splash onto any build with very little investment. Whereas in 3, it seems like it's something that you, it's supposed to be a powerful reward for investing in your stats. I guess. Like, the splash ability is something that makes Pyromancy good in even if they don't really scale. I guess. They scale really nicely in 3, though, mm -hmm. because they scale both with both stats, which basically makes them the magic equivalent of a quality weapon. Okay. Um... And, uh, so you can get some scaling out of both stats. Um, wait, what was I saying? Uh, so anyway, so yeah, so I had, so I wanted to do a build that used, uh, the Crystal Chime, because, why is it working all of a sudden? The Crystal Chime, because it, uh, because you can cast both sorceries and miracles from it. And the... Uh, Demon Scar, because it's a sword that's also a pyromancy flame. Oh. So basically, I wield the the chime in one hand and the Demon Scar in the other hand. So and then without a... switching anything, I can cast every fucking spell in the game. And still. And st and still have an attack that's actually decent. Which the attack also scales with uh, both your mental stats. Which means that even though I had shit for strength and dex, I could still be pretty good. Just some flimsy ass dude yeah. walks up and shanks you for like a million damage. Put on the <laughs> put on top of that the sage ring, which makes it so that you have effectively thirty higher decks for the sake of casting, which means that that's the only thing I need decks for anyway. So I don't need decks anymore, and my decks of twenty is treated as fifty, which means I cast as fast as I possibly can and don't have to double the decks. Nice. And then so now I'm just a ridiculous deck, a ridiculous caster. And how many, the thing is... How many attunement slots do you have? Eight. <laughs> well, the attunement slots are based on your attunement stat. Yes. And I have eight on that. That's pretty great. Um, because I also nearly maxed out attunement. Actually, no, I did... I, I soft-capped attunement. I got it to 40, which is the soft cap, and it starts being, like, not worth investing in anymore. It's like diminishing returns. Yeah. It starts to really not matter all that. Like, you could get 9, but you would need to put 10 more levels in it. I believe, and don't quote me on this, the Dark Souls nerds out there will probably uh, tear my ass to shreds in the comments if they actually show up to watch this. I don't know why they would, since this isn't Dark Souls. But, don't quote me on this, but I think at like 25, the rate at which you gain from levels in any stats starts to be less valuable. Mm -hmm. But it's still pretty well worth the while until 40. Then it becomes like... Yeah, you gotta put, like, ten stats in to deal one more damage. It's like, yeah, it's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, but then, of course, there's those crazy people who do the, the 99 strength build. Yeah. I know That's th always fun to watch. I know in DS1, it hard count 50 for any individual stage. Ah. But even then, those last few levels were starting to diminish returns. Yeah. I believe my build in Dark Souls 1 did actually hard cap strike at 50. Oof. So then I'm like, alright, well, I should be pumping more into decks because it will still improve my Zwy Hander damage a little bit. Yeah, and that's but, what I did with Flame Render when I got to that point. But then I'm like, like, well, or. Technically. Like, or. I could do some bullshit and start investing into my magic stats. Yeah. And it just didn't pay off. Really? I, what, what what kind of casting did you do? I did the, um... Um... I put 18s into intelligence and faith in order to get that one uh, ultra green sword. Ah. I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, what is it? Ar the, the Artorius Greatsword. Oh yeah, Artorius is... I think it's just called Artorius' Greatsword. Yeah. Um... 
the, the cursed version, obviously, that requires you yeah. to have... The regular version is better, I think. I don't know. But the cursed version allows you to hit ghosts, which is why I got yeah. it when I played it. Because um, I just used it for the ghost area. Mm -hmm. So, like, alright, now I've got uh, this, and obviously if it has such high stat requirements, it should be pretty good. But no, it wasn't actually better than fun. No, it kind of sucks, which is unfortunate. But, because so, it's really cool. And so I'm like, well, I mean, I got, I can use all of the, like, important magic stuff, but uh, it wasn't really worth it in the end. Yeah. I think the only times it really made a huge difference was uh, breaking into Anor Londo on my new Game Plus run by using invisibility in order to sneak up on the fucking <laughs> archers. Nice. I'm like, not this time, bitch, and just fucking kill them. Nice. Which was a uh, very satisfying. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, my brain shut off for a second there. <laughs> uh, it's so mind numbing doing this. Um. Oh shit, I feel like I have something to say about that, which I could say in order to fill time, but um, instead, since I can't think of the thing I was going to say, I'm talking about how I can't think of the thing I was going to say in order to fill time okay. as an alternative. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> All right. yeah. No, it was definitely about Dark Souls and it had something to do with what you said, but I got really sidetracked when this thing like killed my last brain cell. Oh yeah, I think I also in that file purchased all of the uh, magics that you can purchase. Oh, nice. So like, I guess I have them even though like the last 20%. Yeah. Honestly, in that game, if you want to splash magic, all you need is like 13 faith and 16 intelligence. That's all. You need. Yeah. Because that gets you like a solid 75% of the game spells. Yeah, you... but not the stronger versions. Yeah, but if you're just splashing, you don't need the stronger versions. I guess. Um, with Princess Rose, because of the way I invested into like into both mental stats. Mm -hmm. um, and can use every spell, I've basically created a prepared caster. <laughs> where the idea is, okay, which boss am I helping you fight today? Alright, let me restat my build. Not my stats, because I don't need to. But, like, let me just pick the spells that are the weakness of this boss. Nice. And I just, whatever I'm going up against, I have its weakness. It can just defeat it, no problem. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's funny because I, I don't know in DS1... Actually, I remember the other thing I was going to say, but I'll come back to that. Um, in DS1, I don't remember, uh, about this. I somehow forgot again. God damn it. I really cannot think while doing this. Um, oh yeah, I, I don't know how it does in DS1 because I didn't do this in DS1, but having a, a casting build in DS, in DS3 is absolute horseshit at the start. Oh, yeah. And you will struggle so much trying to get through the first few levels of the game. But once you get to, like, late game, the, the casting build just becomes incredibly overpowered. It just really takes off yeah, around it, the mid game. Yeah. It, it's past the mid game, honestly. The majority of the game, you're struggling. And then suddenly you hit, like, Dragon Slayer armor or so, which is, like, really near the end of the game. Yeah. And yeah. you're just like, oh, everything's a fucking pushover now. <laughs> that, that's good. Really comes together. I know in the yeah. first game I haven't personally done it, but I know if you start off as the, um, the source, yeah, whatever the starting character yeah. the sorcery is, you're starting allotment of sorceries. You're like arcane bolt or whatever it is. Yeah, uh, has a very large number of uses to start off. It's something like. Yeah, that spell is generally pretty. Okay. So, in DS1, you know, you can start off by just uh, getting through the opening area with, um, as the um, sorcery uh, background. Yeah. And then once you get to Firelink Shrine, g immediately go down into New Londo Ruins and talk to the dude in New Londo Ruins who sells sorceries. Okay. So you can get 
a second copy of the Arcane Bolt spell. Oh, right, and because of the way Dark Souls 1 works, that means you just get twice the casting. Number. Yeah, so you could put the Arcane Bolt into both of your attunement slots, and you just have a shit ton of uh, sorceries just right from the beginning of the game. Cool. Moment of truth. I have enough. We have it. This is the better one. Time to be the, the fucking far, fallout power armor. <laughs> oh this, yeah! This is gonna make the final few cutscenes really awkward. I'm I'm actually so fucking hype about this because this armor looks sick as fuck. I know we basically just <gasps> skipped to we basically skipped an armor level. Two. Yeah, we actually did. <laughs> so it's gonna go from us struggling to just fucking walking over everything. Yes, that's why I'm so hyped about this. Final mo because most of the enemies are doing like four damage right now. So it'll be either like two or even one damage now. Yeah. And we have a fuck ton of health. I'm hyped for this. I hope this is actually the final level like I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, but I could be wrong, but we'll find out. More right. importantly, I hope we don't need enough we don't need that ship upgrade I thought we needed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean it's gonna be easy to get. Yeah, because we have a uh, we have farming nuke. strat now. We have nuke. Yeah, and the nuke. Oh, Look at that fucker, he looks so fucking cool. Fucking power armor looking uh, ass bitch. Okay, before we get into this, last thing I was going to say about uh, the, the the discussion of magic in Dark Souls um, is that I usually do a basically a, a, a partial caster mm -hmm. in Dark Souls. I usually choose either dex or strength, and I choose either faith or intelligence, and okay. then just like scale whatever that stat is and just build mm -hmm. a character around that. In DS1, I did uh, Strength, because of course, for the Zweihander. Yeah. And uh, Faith, I think? Yeah. Which I used for the, uh, the, the the Almighty Push, which I can't remember what it's called, but you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left my... And healing spells and other stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left my Faith at a uh, Almighty, like, 12 or 13, just to get the heals off Yeah. in between fights. And Look so at that. that's a fucking thumbnail right there. Yep. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Baby. Thumbnail. Huh? Uh, so yeah, my strat was basically mostly pyromancies. <laughs> or it was a yep. it was a strength build that splashed pyromancies because it's free. Yeah. So I started out as the pyromancer uh, pre-con. Sure. And then just maxed out strength first and gave me myself just enough faith in order to use the um, healing miracles. Yeah. Which was, like, 13. The fuck? Oh. The Zodiac. Oh, yeah, the Zodiac was what we were thinking of. Um, so, after, so with that, I was basically able to just help tank my way through most of the game's problems because I was not terribly great at that game. We just took one damage to the opposition. I think so. I think we actually took half a damage. Oh no, we did take one damage. We're taking one damage per game. Good, that's what it should be. <laughs> My turn. Die, <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna use this. Clearly the heavy answer is not good enough. We're just not taking any bucks from these guys. This is how the game was meant to be played. This feels actually unfair. I like it though. <laughs> it's actually... This is great. It's not like the later games, but I'm, I feel like I can actually play it like the later games now. <laughs> just because of the way that I can actually just like fucking fight these things and not be a fucking bitch about it. Yeah, Why not are you just not get doing completely that? Roasted. Yeah. I had to remember the controls. <laughs> oh, and we got more nano. Oh, ah, ah! So it begins. Oh, you were over here. I didn't realize that. Which, for us, now means we can survive an entire extra hit. Yeah. This was well worth the investment. I agree. This was worth the time. Honestly, I thought it was worth it just for how fucking cool it looked. 
but now it's actually fucking useful. Just like, man, keep him back! You can't keep me back! Hold the line! What's a good Iron Man quote? My turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, that is good! <laughs> Can we get that? Thanks. How far into the video are we? 30 minutes, perfect. That's easy to remember. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Speaking of your turn, you want to hold this for a bit? Uh, sure. Let's let's do this. <laughs> I can actually pass it off during combat, not fear for my life. I just really wanted to see how badass that was, and I'm glad I got to do it. Now, I need to note down the time card. Sorry, I'm gonna walk in front of you. It's fine. I have arranged the chairs in the space to put forms of the Great Wall of China, so I kind of can't go around any other way. That was a 30 minute time for 30 zero zero. There absolutely is. This is a character sheet. Why am I holding Man, these guys take a lot of hits. It's a good thing we can now, too. Yeah. And, yeah, it looks like these guys just respawn, so you're supposed to just advance. Oh, damn. A shame, because now we actually could fight them. Yeah, we could fight that. We could fight them on equal ground, finally. Yeah. 30 minutes. Uh. Uh, Iron Man quote. I know it diminishes the professionalism, but I hope it doesn't diminish the funniness of the jokes when I start to actually acknowledge that I'm making notes of shit. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, man. It's funny in the moment, at least. Finally. It makes my editing easier. I cannot edit this tomorrow, even though I'm going to do it the short way, because I have an exam today. Probably, I was gonna say, probably make it up anyway, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know what it is. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't the very obvious uh, punchline to that joke. <laughs> it was a very obscure and weird one instead. Yes. I thought I could just skip the points. Uh, you can uh, fight the boots. Uh, now that you have uh, these in armor. Yes, what do I want? But, uh, if you do, you get a. Uh, Package of Obama for me. Obama. I'm Obama, and I approve this power armor. <laughs> Obama in power armor. That's it. I just wanted to put that image in your, in your head. <laughs> there was no joke there. I just it, wanted to it's, picture it's it. Just an <laughs> it would just be an image of a suit of power armor. It's like, uh, like. War Machine, like, and how he has, like, the faceplate open sometimes, so you can see his face. Okay. But instead of Rhodey, it's Obama. Robom. I'm not editing Robom. that. Robom. Future Robom. me, do not edit that. Robom. <laughs> <laughs> There's no end to them. Yeah, they oh, might shit. actually just spawn. Oh, no, this one you actually have to fight, so, no, they, they were not doing No, they are. So then where's my where am I supposed to go? I don't know. I think you can wall jump over there. Oh yeah. I'm I'm done. Yeah. Put some turrets down to distract them. Oh no, it's a hacking thing. Never mind. It's not a wall jump. You can just use it. You don't have to. Well, let me. <laughs> I keep, we got to I this keep, point before I, and then I died. I keep getting stun locked out of the fucking animation. <laughs> That's why I said put some turrets down so that they fuck off or they get distracted by the turrets. Give him something else to do, and then okay. give him something to shoot. <laughs> fuck, fuck you! <laughs> Motherfuckers. This is very funny to watch. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Imagine if this didn't freeze time. Imagine how much that would suck. 
you just couldn't do it. Yeah, it would actually just be impossible. But it would be an impossible in a really obnoxious way, specifically. God damn it. I, I fucking hate you. No. There you go. Oh, what? not. No, I think it's up on that one, but then it's down on the next one. Oh, finally. Okay. Okay. That one you just fucking beat them at them. If you don't have it, you just don't succeed. That's all there is to do. Yeah. And because the momentum is based on whether you get it right or not, it's just guess and check effectively. Yep. Ah, uh, look at badass Ratchet. I'm so I'm so angry that I when know. we start the next game we're gonna have shit ass armor again. We're gonna have normal ratchet. Normal shirtless ass ratchet. Actually he probably won't be shirtless. I think he's only shirtless in the first one. I wasn't paying attention on that. <laughs> he was shirtless in the first one, not much I know. So where do we go? I don't know. No, he started this one wearing a fucking helmet. So he definitely was not sure what was going to be in this one. Well, maybe he was helmet. He, he had a helmet for no shirt? I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure he was using, like, full armor. It's not this kind of helmet. He was in, like, his commando outfit, mm -hmm. his going commando. Yeah. Probably was not wearing underwear, though, as implied by the title. I mean, we'll never know. Exactly. Not bad. I could have just walked around. Just, yeah. I think you weren't supposed to be able to jump in here, but you did. So. Oh. That's why I gave you that grapple. Yeah, I'm like, oh, am I going to make this jump? Okay, I made this mm -hmm. jump. Hey, if you want to buy, like, anything, I don't give a shit anymore. I just wanted the fucking armor. Yeah, because we have all of the uh, important sauce now. Yeah, so if you want to buy some cool weapon. What's the can one on the right, the right of that? Anything. I'm just curious. The shield Shield charger? charger? Force field technology at its best. Products. Protects you fully and also damages opponents. I mean, it's at least... Touch it. I think it's interesting. Yeah. I'd be curious to Otherwise, see it. Otherwise, we could get the hover bomb gun. Eh. The plasma coil. Well, so it's just cool. a better Tesla co coil? Yeah, I think that's this game's version of the Tesla coil. Mini rocket tube. Like bouncer. I remember the bouncer being cool. Alright, well, we'll get the bouncer. Yeah. I'm also really curious about that shield thing. Yeah, alright, we'll get the shield. I just want to know what it does. Like, is it, is it, I don't know. Aw, oh, shit. Wait, did it just, does it just happen? Well, maybe we'll... Does it, like, not run out? Is it just a fucking thing? I don't know. Hang on, hit, wait, go to the gad, er, weapons. Sorry, it would be the weapons. Shield charger. Is it on this? Yeah, it is. It's on the right. Ammo four out of five. Okay, so we have to what? actively select it. Do we? Because it just kind of activated when we got it <laughs> on its own. Maybe it just. Uh, maybe it. Maybe it's always active, and it's just like when you take a hit, it does. It takes one of the ammo. Okay. I guess we'll find out when we do it. That's why I wanted to get it because I didn't know what the fuck it was. I never tried it before. I really wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world. I, I don't know what I'm saying. There is no joke. Take off your clothes. Hey, did you see that thing I sent to the um, meme combat earlier? Or I think it was actually the main chat. Uh, which? I'll get. I'll break it up. Okay, don't distract me. No, this is actually really hard for me. <laughs> Alright, uh, here it is. It's something I, as a video I took, watch. There is no meme. Oh yeah, that. I've seen that. I was watching House and I saw that one scene. 
Yeah. Where he just said, take off your clothes in that really, like, bland voice, and I just thought yeah, that one yeah. thing. I just felt like I needed to do that. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's charge-based, um, but it requires no active, active use of it. It just That's cool. absorbs it. So it's like 5x triplets before you take it. I mean, that's good. Anything that we can use without having to put on our weapon wheel is good, in my opinion. Because we've got so much stupid shit to put on the weapon wheel. Look at these guys. How are we going to fight these guys without the power? Dude, we're not. <laughs> I do think it would have been entertaining to watch us go through this section without the power. But I'm glad we don't have to. Well, we've got through a little bit of it. Yeah, that's fair. I did rage quit on that one section, so... Basically, you have tank. to be as tanky as you You have to be as tanky as an actual tank. <laughs> a literal yeah. tank. Okay. <laughs> yeah, remember the time I walked forward and went under it? It was like, fucking hell. <laughs> Are you shitting me? <laughs> Well, this gives us a good excuse to use the... Wait, uh, hover over the thing again? So... Oh. Oh, maybe you do have to activate it. Yeah, I guess you do. But you, it's, you can probably put it on the quick select if you wanted to. Yeah, but our quick select is already pretty busy. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to. What in the world? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Even more it's, it's kind of short range, but walk up to those guys and then shoot it like in the middle of them and watch it happen. More shit. Yeah. Oh, I went off the, the ledge. Hang on. Shoot it a little bit shorter. There you go. <laughs> it just, they just roll towards the enemies. Yeah, they bounce around. That's why I remember liking them. <laughs> They appear to deal decent damage. Yes, yes, they do. The prototype duplication. I'm sorry, I'm late. I had some trouble with just the guard. I was drinking no juice and I almost just spit it out. <laughs> just okay. dodging Let's cluster bombs. I can't believe they, they didn't clear the area before starting the cutscene. She is trying to tell us something. Looks like she's saying, "Don't go in there." Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> you bought it from Steve, Steve McCork. <laughs> now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark. All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> Quark was the villain the whole time. What? Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizz Widget! There is no Fizz Widget. Take off your clothes! <laughs> this is bad. I don't think I could have timed that better. What the heck is going on? <laughs> they actually censored that. <laughs> yep. Allow me to explain. That's in the original, for the record. Yeah, this wasn't something quite safe. Nope. You are about to become public enemy number one. Oh. And two and three. Darts! Seize them! Not in my watch. Oh, okay. I guess this just happens. He didn't let us keep our power on. I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> A living menace called the Proto Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Voganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro gadget I invented, I will end the protopath threat once and for all. That's my elixir more. I invented it. 
Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix soul thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, that did not work. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know how Quark is getting out of that one. He got eaten. Come on, Clank. Let's he got eaten. But he said he comes back in the later. Hey, hey, can we get a. Can we get a, uh, that song that's like. That, 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 that meme song? And uh, a freeze frame that says Quark got bored? Thanks. <laughs> okay. 46. <laughs> Oh yeah, welcome to the actual final boss. Okay. Yep. Yeah. There's no way this is the real final boss. It is. But it's harder than you think though. Unless I'm just forgetting because I was a child when I played it. <laughs> I, mean, I remember it being very difficult. This bouncer just isn't coming. Nah, you're gonna need something more targeting. Also, I think these things are actually dealing too damage. Oh. First of all. <laughs> Problem solved. I gotta figure out where the fuck that meme comes from so I can find that song. Seekers are good working. Stealing damage really slowly, but so is everything, so. Yeah, everything just becomes super tough. Both you. And the enemies. Yeah. And this is the final loss, so... So, I mean, it makes sense that, you know... If something's gonna be tanky. Might as well be this. I mean, if something's gonna be tanky, but, like, everything's tanky. Yes. So this is... I'll complain about the regular enemies, but this is... Whatever. It's a loss. It makes sense. Yeah. It should be tanky. I just wish it didn't spawn fucking the last bitches. Oh yeah, this is the boss swing. Yeah, what is it with the heavy lantern that kills bosses specifically? Because it's really shot in a mission, but it has a high Because <coughs> I was shooting those regular ass enemies from earlier and it wasn't doing that much. So I have to beat him to the ammo box. Because he just ate that ammo box. you really? Oh my god. I didn't even notice. That's crazy though. So I guess there's that. Also, why does he have a shield? I don't know. Uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> That's a spawn right Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> One motherfucking ass motherfucker. That, that's one way to say it. Right. Behind you is another one. Okay. So we're not going to be dashing. Not that kind of dash. You could probably do the short dash. You could probably do the short dash. Anyway. There we go. So he ends. Whenever I do that, though, that he spawns and he's just dead. Ah. That explains why this gave me so much trouble as a kid. I probably didn't even figure that out. What? Oh. Oh, on God. What? Oh! Uh! At least I kept that. That didn't change anything. 
<laughs> no. It looks cool. We're going to need new guns because all of the other ones are. At least I can get into it. It's not a friendly bomb. Yeah, it, it's just too. Oh, that's a bomb. He's coming can, out the side of his mouth. Yeah. At least I can sort of, this way, get them to friendly fire on each other. Yeah. So there's that. You can probably remove, uh... This, Yeah. Obviously. We you can even probably remove the gothic look, I would bet. Yeah, because this is the final boss after Yeah, I don't think there's any more... I could be wrong about that, but I don't think there's any more. <laughs> Do we gonna <laughs> equip the bomb glove? We're equip the shield thing. Oh, yeah, the Just shield. so you can easily reactivate it. Yeah. Um... We're gonna see how good the bomb glove is. Is the bouncer really not that not good on against this guy? Uh, it's all right. It's just got really low DPS. Eh. Might as well dip. What did you put it in place of? The mini nuke, cause we're out. Ah, fair enough. I mean, once we're once the we bomb get, glove, we're doing it. We're gonna kill him. We're gonna finish him off with the bomb glove. Uh, I just want to see how well the bomb glove deals. It's, it's <laughs> shit. At least it deals some damage. <laughs> I think the strategy here is to get the final boss to friendly fire on all of the enemies and just focus the boss. On the what? And focus the boss. No, friendly fire on the what? The ads. Ads? Yeah, all of the minions. Ad, why, why, why are they called ads, though? What are you That's just one word. I've never heard that before. I've heard it. Like if you have more enemies or something like that. Let's see, look, they're just firing the ADEs, on The ADEs? The AIDS? Yeah. There's, <laughs> the, this boss is AIDS. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, the boss kind of is a sexually transmitted disease. I mean, it's just not that it transmitted it's a, through sex. It's an asexual transmitted disease. It's an asexual it's a it's a disease that transmits itself across the galaxy by having sex with each other so that it makes more. Well, the enemies just fuck themselves and create more of this. Uh, auto-erotic disease. Auto-erotic transmitting Sure. Uh, what's the word for the thing, the process where they split themselves again? Um, mitosis. Mitosis transmitted disease. An MTD. I just can't feel damage with the Star Knights. Because they just target the minions. Using his um, roll abilities, we can just straight up get him to kill the minions. That's good, I guess. <laughs> The turrets don't do much to the boss, but at least they keep the gun, the, the little minions off of you. Yeah. To some extent. Yeah, the bomb glove is useless as I anticipated. I wonder what the upgraded version of the shield thing is. I don't know. Maybe it gives you more, like, I don't know. Remember to activate that and also the, the minion dudes. Okay, yeah. Because you haven't been doing that. Well, yeah, but I think I'm almost out. So, let's um, get rid of the Yeah, but you'll pick bomb. up more ammo for it anyway. Okay. Um, fuck the bomb glove. I was trying to make it work, but it wasn't. <laughs> fuck the bomb glove. All my homies hate, hate the, the bomb, bomb glove. Uh, I don't know what else we could put on our weapon wheel here. That's probably fine. I just need to get better at fighting this boss. Well, we're out of killing them. It's time for the low DPS boss. I mean, it does something at least. It is good for clearing out the small enemies. I just need to basically fire it point away from the box. Yeah. I, that might be it. Oh no, he, I think he's going to go No, he does take. Oh, he does? Why does he all blue like that? It does deal some damage. It's just some damage, some water. That makes no sense to me. 
Nathan and Justin do, but it's, it's an old one. They might not even remember. This joke is extinct. Yeah. This joke is like it's not technically extinct. It's like there is one of it of its species left in the world. There is one person who understands it, and that's me. And because I'm the only one, like you can't create more. And only I get it anyway. <laughs> It's like when a it's like when an animal is not technically extinct because there's one left, but you can't create more with just one. So, so it, it's it basically like... is. This terrible joke, guys. Yeah. Okay. This, what, why are the ships supporting this? Thing? I'm, Good I'm question. I'm really curious. I, know I don't know if it's so much that they're supporting him. It's I think it's just more that they fucking hate you. I I, I would. Cry out Ludo narrative dissonance, but I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's. See, those guys are shooting him and you. Okay, yeah, there's that. I'm just talking about yeah. the shit. It's not, it's not that they. It's not that they like him. It's that they just hate you more. <laughs> Fuck you. All oh, my hopes. I mean, they are, they are being like. They are, I wouldn't say controlled, because they're not like. But they're they're serving Cork. Cork is your enemy, so right now it's just two of Cork's enemies fighting each other. They just want them both dead. You're pretty close to beating them already, actually. You're also pretty close to death. And you don't get help in this apparently. So we all know what it is. I've got a completely red weapon. Yeah. It's gonna be a flashback to the first game again. You can't do anything about that. How do I, how do I get uh, Apparently you don't. You get ready to start whacking the boss. At least this is a boss you can't smack. Yeah, technically. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but... I mean, we're gonna have to try. Yeah, in a few seconds. It probably takes less damage while rolling, is that true? Maybe, I'm not willing to test it. And if that is true, then you probably want to conserve ammo for when it's not rolling. Okay, the game's just lagging this up. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. They're all shooting. Oh my god! <laughs> well, this is interesting. You have to go to the pause menu. That cool. That's something that you're gonna die. You have one hit. You are done. Give me a try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the the block. Uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna purchase everything. Just to have it. <sighs> I know I, we don't need that. I am going to put some stuff on the weapon wheel, and I'm not going to change it. Okay. And I'm going to see how that works. Okay, so, so we want the heavy we want lancer. Both of, I want both of these. I want the heavy lancer. You know what? Uh, is there a button to remove to just make it nothing? No. You have to replace it with something. Okay, that's a shame. I was going to say just so I can clear it off, so, so I have like a mental checklist. Okay. Um, but it's fine. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, what is... Okay, the mini nuke is really good, so let's make sure we have that. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah, but um, the multi-star is kind of crap for this boss, because it always targets the minions. I guess. We'll see. But it's fine. The I'm blitz fine cannon is good. We like the blitz cannon. I'm okay with the bouncer, personally. The bouncer has good damage okay. for its ammo cost, just not this for This is defense. not worth it. Yeah, no. For we sure. We don't care about the pulse rifle. This might be. We'll come back. Okay. This also might be. I don't the seeker know. seeker gun, I did get good use out of. Um, um, this is worthless. This is worthless. This is worthless. And both of these are worthless. Yeah. So that leaves either this or this as the last thing. The seeker gun, or I know that the turrets are good against the, the um, minions, at least. Yeah. 
the, I feel like the minion mancy strategy is going well for us in general. Um, but uh, I guess on I the contrary, the though, the seeker stuff. gun is good against the boss. So it's you know what like, I will. You know what I'll do? I will go in with the seeker gun. Go in with the seeker gun, just blow it off. Probably you need to equip the grappling hook. Damn, that means I can't go in. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I can okay. fly there. We don't even need the grappling hook. It was just there. It's just there to make you feel like it's doing something. Okay. Just like, I'm helping. Uh, and I don't want to miss these ever, if I can. Because we get precious few ammo drops for this fight. I don't yet know if, um, oopsie. I don't yet know if he gets, uh, -oh. I should not use this, but I, I'll use it. If you like point blank, most of the time. Also, I forgot how to do the normal dash instead of the spear. I noticed. Which, re which really hurt my ability to play. It's almost the same as it is in Super Mario, which is why I remembered it. Okay, so it stopped focusing me on the boss. Okay. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna end up being a war of attrition. He's just standing there for a minute. He's like, who that tickets? Yeah, kind of. Feels like a fly, bit me. Alright, let's just do this real quick. Let's just get the fuck away from you guys. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna first activate this, this, and this. And then I'll go back to you. Keep up all of your free packs. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. That fire eating that's girl's food. That fire had a ratchet in the sea. Well done. Uh, do I, did I, I still have kill anyways. I still have shield, so I'm just gonna pop out a good one here. And then go back to the I don't know if this rolling actually destroys your turrets. It might, I don't know. I wasn't there. It's just gonna be around a couple of minutes to maximize damage and see if that doesn't attack his life points directly. I summon mini new and attack your left life points directly. The, the you fool, Kaiba. I've just pulled off an infinite life combo. You're going right to the shadow realm. Okay, I have two questions for you. Infinite life combo, that is a thing that actually you do. Correct? There probably is. I just uh, don't know. Okay, so it doesn't ever happen in the end, I think. <laughs> I'm just destroying them as they come out of his mouth because it's a mini new Spawn kill. Yeah. <laughs> Stop spawn killing. Stop spawning. <laughs> this one makes you stand still while firing it if you're not jumping. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that until now. Yeah, the multi star, like, you're kind of married to that shot. Fire it on Yeah. I mean, you're generally supposed to be jumping constantly in racking play games anyway, but that basically requires you. Yeah, I mean, I at least try to I at least try to shoot on the ground sometimes, just to even it out. But you kind of have to use the multi star. Yeah. Throw a few of those down and get easy. Oh, well, I thought I was using it. Okay. Yeah, that's Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so that's a bomb, so we can't do anything about that. Yeah, unfortunately, that does seem to be the case. It would, be it would have been nice if, like, take care of it as well. No such thing. Can you shoot the bomb? Have you tried that? I tried. I don't think it works, but here's my original game. I'll try it later. At least this boss also has minions that drop money. I don't know why I didn't try it. Okay, yeah, you, you just flat out can't. 
Thanks, boys. I really appreciate it. Get the fuck out of here. I don't like you. You're pissing me off. I generally, do not want to waste ammo on those guys, but I'm just they're fucking they're fucking just gonna pop those and see what's going on. It's far as we can get them. There's like no one to them. Yeah. Um. Uh, okay. Weird, but okay. This looks like the shield chain. I, I, I wanted to do the kill notes first because I wasn't sure if I had um, shield charge left and I wasn't having that. So yeah, in my opinion, this weapon actually has good DPS, or good damage for... Shit, step on me like that. No! Get the fuck out of here, you little shit. Did it. He's, yeah. he's not happy about that. Um, yeah, the... Bouncer actually has good damage for its ammo cost, which is why it's good for this fight. It just doesn't have very high DPS. Why am I keep letting him hold him like that? Why am I such an idiot? I'm just gonna go for the thing, that's fine. I'm just launch it between the end. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it fires really slow, but it's good for its damage cost, as you said. Mm -hmm. And they also roll towards the enemies. Yes. I don't know what they there, but... I sure hope that they don't, like, respawn in this boss fight. If you leave the minions alive. They probably <laughs> yeah, chances are. Just throwing up the kill and white shit. Yeah, sorry, I was just trying to process the information. Like, pause, pause. This is the final phase with just everything shooting. Yeah. This is the one where you just, like, your health melt away. Because this one's actually. Really yeah, I still had, like, like, half my health coming in. But then yeah. there was just nothing I could do. Like the thing was coming at me too quick. Yeah. Everything is in. Oh yeah, and the fact that we ran, I ran out of ammo. Right. Yeah, which I just did too. But I got this ammo back, so I know I can use it at least. Right. 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 You can manually equip this. But then after that, I think it's Tesla coil time. Unfortunately. Tesla coil, bomb glove, sheep thing. The sheep thing actually doesn't do anything. If you awesome. kill this thing with the bomb glove, I'm going to die. I want to kill it with the bomb glove so bad. things I need to check. Everything on this is gone? Cool. Awesome. Second thing I need to check. What do I have left? Uh, the rifle. Spider, which can't be used. This, which can't be used. The rifle. Uh, the rifle actually is not... It's not completely useless. It's generally not the option I would go with. You don't have okay. to, like, do a sniper. But it just yeah. doesn't deal with it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Plus, if you miss, it doesn't have a lot of shots. And if you miss like that, then it's just like, well... You didn't get that shot. Yeah, pretty much. God damn it. We're supposed to be fucking aiming forward. Yeah. Dumbass game. Or well, at least that bear felt so Um. Tesla coil? <laughs> We're gonna come down to the bomb glove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it, man. I really am. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. You are taking off a couple pixels for the test. Yep. Honestly, even if I don't run out of Tesla coil, I'm going to switch to the bomb glove just for the reason. Oh, obviously. Get it time to like one pixel and then finish it with the bomb. Yeah. I actually might have to anyway though. Look. The Tesla coil is trash. Alright, he's down to one pixel. Switch to the bomb glove. You know what must be done. Old faithful. <laughs> Old not very faithful. Bringing it all back. <laughs> what? What a meme. 
<laughs> the bomb glove is the first weapon you get in the first game, and we yeah. hated it, and it's the weapon we finished this game with. Because we had nothing else left. <laughs> Man, forgive the bomb glove. <laughs> All my homies use the bomb glove to beat the final boss. <laughs> it's okay. This is the real Mr. Fizzwidget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the helix somewhere. He actually used those words right. Yeah, because he's the real one. Yeah, Quark was just faking. That's why he was using it all. Right, right. What yep. He was trying to imitate him by using big words, but he didn't know big words. Yeah. That's actually pretty funny that it was foreshadowed. That was. He also has the same voice actor, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> At least I think Just he does. Just have the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Clank? If something happens, okay. oh. I can fix her. Clark killed I promise. Promise. That was probably the best way that game could have ended for us. Yeah. <laughs> I know the first game ended when we were at the last, uh, the last of the usable ammo. Yeah. It was the last destructor ammo, I think it was. Man. Fuck the bomb club. <laughs> the only reason we used it because there was literally nothing left. Yeah. That was all we had left. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible and I love it. <laughs> uh, that's pretty great. Well, Jim Ward was Abercrombie Fizz Widget. Jim Ward also. Quark is not. Quark is not listed on here. Hang on, I'll just Google Jim Ward. That'll probably get me the right answer. Okay. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby clean just something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. I like that. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. Yeah, Jim Ward, it is the same voice actor who does Fitz with you and uh, Quark. And oh, when, that's oh, interesting. So, because I haven't played this game since I was a kid, when I first heard Cor uh, Fitz Widget's voice in this one, I was sitting here going, Ah oh, shit, Jacob's gonna figure it out real easy, because that's like, he sounds exactly the same. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's the same guy. And because I already knew what the plot twist was. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I wasn't aware of the plot twist. Yeah. The voice was just different enough that I didn't pick up it's, on it. I think they also deliberately mislead you with him using the wrong words, because it makes him feel like a distinct character. Yeah. It gives him his personal work that he does. Yeah. So, I mean, fair turnabout game. You mm -hmm. did have me fooled until the end. Yeah, I guess it's just something that's obvious in hindsight. Yeah, it's one of those but things really that is you, not. Don't, you don't really notice it in hindsight. Mm -hmm. But hey, we beat this one pretty early. Yeah. So, we've got stuff that we can do for the rest of the night. Yeah, that only took like an hour. Yeah. And half I, of it's that, because and, I knew we were on the last world. Yeah, and half of that was grinding. Yeah, half of that was me just grinding for the cool ass armor. Okay. I mean, I don't want to start the next game so soon. I'm I'm kind of with you. But. But we also don't have much else to do. Yeah, I am I mean, okay. We, I do want to know if they fixed the controls. God, this is such a flashback to the first game sending. 
Well, I said the same thing with that. <laughs> well, have, let's let's make it be a surprise this time. I guess, okay. Let's leave it on a cliffhanger to see if the next game is good. Yeah, cliffhanger this time. Uh, definitely this game was better than the uh, first game. Yeah. No, it's definitely, it, it's getting there. Yeah, clearly they had a decent idea of what they were making this time around. They did get, have the game mostly focused on the gunplay. The one that was had it coming. <laughs> All right, fellas, you're nice and tight now. And so you um, tested this, right? Oh, wait, that's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, one more thing. <laughs> I love this series instead of I fucking hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got something going here. Yeah. So, yeah. This is Badass Ratchet signing out. Can I, I can't do the thing where you put the camera in the floor to make it zoom in. Can I, I guess, I the, I guess this is as close to the floor as you can. There we go. Aw, oh, that sucks. The angle doesn't zoom in on him. Oh well. Damn it. Remember like, when we were doing, um,. Shadow of the Colossus and Jaren did that thing where you put it with camera against the wall so it was really close to the guy's face. He's like, hello guys, welcome to my vlog. That video. Oh yeah, when he was fighting <laughs> that one medium. The lizard. The, the lizard Colossus, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that and we can already, and I think we can warp right back to the final boss if we want to fight the final boss. Yeah, you can. You could do the same thing with uh, the first game as well, I believe. We just didn't bother to even check. <laughs> we didn't want to go fight the final boss again. Yeah. Just for posterity's sake, I'm saving this. Uh, right. And I guess the video's over. Go home. Yeah, do something better with your lives. <laughs> yeah. If you're here, you've already made too many mistakes. Hmm. So thanks for watching. Ooh. And stay interesting. Progress is being made. Yeah. I know... I know the fourth game has the good controls. Okay. I don't know about three. Okay. <laughs> because we ha I haven't played it yet. <laughs> but I know the fourth one has the controls I'm used to. You, I don't know. Good is a matter of opinion. I don't know if you'll agree with me on it, but it's the ones I like. I mean, <laughs> I'll, pl I'll play it, and I'll f see what my opinion is on it. Yeah. It's 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 like I said how it it starts to be more and more like a third person shooter as the game goes mm -hmm. on. Yeah, because like I said going into this, I played almost no third person shooters. Yeah. Um. So, it's definitely been a learning experience for me. Trial by fire for sure, with the early Ratchet and Clank games. Yeah. <sighs> it's also been a learning experience for me, where the learning is me learning that uh, my childhood games were not as good as I remember them being. Yeah, it's all. isn't that always the case, though? Yeah, no, it is. Like, you go back to your childhood games like, wait, how did I actually slog through this shit? Yeah, I don't blame them for this one. I blame them for the first one. <laughs> yeah. This game was okay. Honestly, this game was definitely a 3 out of 5. Yeah. Easily a decent game. In I'd go 4, game. but that's probably just because nostalgia. There were a lot of, like, shitty moments in this game. The, okay, the fact that you basically are required to fucking pay to play the game sucks dick. Yeah, and grind. Like, yeah. we could not have beaten this boss without yeah. the power armor. That's very much a relic of uh, an era and, a, and the fact that uh, we were kids who were willing to sink in that time and therefore didn't notice it. Yeah. Um... Um, if also, a modern game did that, it would get fucking panned. <laughs> also, also the Robo Colossus turret fight. What's? Oh yeah, that one just was. It just sucked. It was just dull and lame. Yeah. So I I can't bring myself to <laughs> give it a four out of five. I give it an IGN four out of five. Because I give it a real three out of five. <laughs> I gave like, it maybe a three point six. <laughs> I don't go by. I don't granulate that heavily. I, do, I don't usually either, 
But I feel like three out of five is like very low. I don't know. I, I, three out of five is like barely passable, in my opinion. I don't know. Two out of five is barely passable. It's when like, you get to two out of five, I start to feel like it's like, yeah, this game sucks. <laughs> no, a one out of five is like barely playable, <laughs> which I think you could almost argue that the first game was, but not quite. Yeah, it was a somewhere two, between a one and a two. I think I think it's a, a, a I think it's a solid two, but we would have given it a one because we didn't understand most of the mechanics until the very end. Yeah, a two <laughs> is functional controls, but it just there's no fun to be had. Yeah, the game is functional, but you won't be having fun. I yeah. think that a three is when you start having fun with the game. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't do anything terribly exciting. Yeah. Um. And four and five is result reserved for like actually good the games. good. A four is for like the good games, and a five is for like those like amazing like once a year. Gen, yeah. The once a year gems. Yeah, game of the year type games. Yeah. Yeah. Like five is reserved for like. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that isn't just a personal opinion of mine. I know that it's all opinion, but I mean, I'm trying to think of something that's more popular than what I was thinking. Well, I was going to say it's reserved for, like, Pyre, but I'm, like, the only person who actually likes Pyre that much, so... Um, <laughs> I know Bioshock has gotten really great re- re- reviews. Bioshock 1. Yeah, Bioshock. Yeah, Bioshock 1 is a, is a solid game. I own that game. I have not touched that game People yet. like Bioshock 2. I don't. I, I, I own the trilogy. I have not touched the, any of the games yet, though. Any of them? No. I had... I had... Damn. I had the fucking games on my wall. Don't give me more series to run with you, man. Come on. We're not done with this one yet. I, I, had, the games <laughs> on, I had the games on my wall. I'm like, all right, I've got, on one hand, the Bioshock trilogy. Yeah. On the other hand, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Ooh. And I, I, that's the game I'm playing now, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I played the, the, the beginning new, of Mystery Dungeon. The newest one. But the, I never owned it myself. The, the so. newest one, the DX one. Is it actually good, the new one? It's good. Um, they do have a few good quality of life improvements. I do feel like they did take it slightly too far. How new is it? It was like released either this year or late last year. So it is the new one that I heard about. Yeah, Mystery Dungeon DX. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, well, I'm glad it's good. Yeah. I feel like they do have, a, they did make it a sign, noticeably easier than the pre, than the original rendition. Mm-hmm. But that's also not a huge knock against it because the original <laughs> game did take it a little hard in the other direction. Yeah, it's just they start you off with a lot of like really good shit. Like you can get a lot of the good TMs really early on. And it makes it really easy to grind if you want to. So you can grind past a lot of the games, a lot of the early game. Yeah. I'm Um, just putting something interesting on screen since we're talking. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, But overall, I've been avoiding doing the grinding unless it was strictly necessary. It actually was at one point. Um, So there's that. Ooh, okay. I'm about to fight the first, like, real legendary boss. Cool. Um, so I hope that I'm ready for that. I remember it being super OP in the original Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. Um, the first boss? Yeah, the, the first legendary boss. Oh, first legendary boss, gotcha. Yeah, which is like 20% of your way through the game. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I can't really complain too much other than they did make it a little easier than I expected. I did expect them to make it easier, which was, um, good, because the first game was a little impenetrable if you didn't know what you were doing. Mm. How does Mystery Dungeon play? So it's a top-down game where you basically explore randomly generated dungeons floor by floor oh they're randomly generated yes are they are they shared are they always the same to between players no oh shit okay. A, it's, okay and it's also randomly generated each time you walk in right okay 
So it, part of the fun is learning to sort of roll with the punches. So there's always, like, you have to find where the next... Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 so part of the fun is in sort of... You're, it's gonna, you're gonna lose it. Okay. It just did. But yeah, Sorry, what were you saying? P- part of the fun is in fact act in like learning to roll with the punches, mm-hmm. so to speak, and figuring out uh, what you're doing on each individual uh, floor and pat and like explore. And right. And one of my one of the things I like about the mystery dungeon games is that you actually do have to consistently do some exploring because they are randomly generated in their like floor structure. That's um, and it's basic it is turn based. So you're right. Like, you take your turn, then the enemies take their turn, then your allied Pokemon take their turn. Oh, so okay, so it's more like a JRPG. Yeah, kind of. Cool. Okay, yeah, I, I can get behind it. Normally, I don't like JRPGs, but I wouldn't want to play a Pokemon game that wasn't. <laughs> um, that wasn't like that. And yeah, I don't think the, the game, Pokemon games would really make sense if they were. Yeah, At no. At least most of them. <laughs> okay. It, it would feel like a spin, or it would feel weird. I know that no, no, the, no, no, no. I know that the Mystery Dungeon games are technically spin-offs, but they feel like they make sense. Right, yeah, they still feel like Pokemon games. Yeah, because they have you have your moves and such. Um the, the series isn't as well balanced as the mainline games, but it's at least pretty good. Um but yeah, it's basically that. It's top down turn based Pokemon but you taking the time to move around the dungeon and go floor by floor to explore places. Oh yeah, and you do, t- um, you are a Pokemon. Yes. Um, and you have to... That much, I know. I know that much. And you do have to take the time to sort of, uh, recruit Pokemon instead of capturing them. Oh, that's a- Okay, so instead of, um, instead of capturing Pokemon, you basically beat the shit out of them, and sometimes they are, <laughs> the game says, inspired by your buddy to recruit you to your team. Oh, okay. So, like, it, So those things aren't scripted? No, it's basically a random chance if they, oh. if they join or not. Do like, they have, like, dialogue and shit? Um, you and your partner Pokemon have dialogue. All of the recruits only have like basic cookie points. So it's not that amazing. Yeah. This is semi related. It's, it's related by a, a, a large string of thought that I just had, so I apologize. Um, I want to do XCOM at some point with you guys. Okay. We've, we've done it before, but I want to do an actual playthrough of XCOM 1, 2, and Chimera Squad. Without the fucking Bob Cook incident. Yeah, hopefully without the Bob Cook incident. <laughs> <laughs> or with the Bob Cook incident. I don't know, the Bob Cook incident was pretty legendary. <laughs> Motherfucking Bob Cook. Bob Cook. Fuck you, Bob Cook. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know what we're saying, I, I gave you a solid 20 seconds to be confused there. But... <laughs> the actual explanation for that is we were doing a stream and we were running on my shitty old computer. Mm-hmm. My new computer can actually probably run it stably. I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. Mm-hmm. But it runs most other things pretty well. But we were using it on my, my old shitty computer and um, with all the mods and it was running like absolute ass. Yeah, because there are so many mods. Yeah, because we're streaming and we're running a game with like 30 mods on it. So like we were seeing the fucking fly again, yep. piece of shit. Like we like we were straight up seeing Here, some. We were stuff. straight in, straight up seeing some like Mass Effect aliens for recruits. It was weird. Yeah. 
Chimera Squad actually has aliens as the characters. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that's not relevant. Um, but yeah, what happened was uh, we had a character named Bob Cook, and uh, we started a joke where we were saying his name funny, I think. Yeah. And then, like, as we were doing that, the game, we were looking at his stats, and the game just fucking crashed. Yeah. And froze on his face. Because we were talking about Bob Cook, and then we realized that the game had crashed as we were shitting on Bob Cook. <laughs> yeah. This then <laughs> resulted in us repeatedly blaming Bob Cook for it, and also saying, Bob Cook! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, nobody shits on me. I'm gonna crash your damn game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, legendary incident. Not great in terms of technical fidelity of our channel. <laughs> yeah, because it basically forced us to exit the game early. Yeah. So anyway, I would love to do XCOM seriously. Stop going on the screen! <laughs> Why are you playing the the screen? So I can't fucking hit it. Because I'll break the screen. Huh. I know it's because it's a source of light, but I choose to believe that it's doing it deliberately to piss me off. <laughs> Bitch. It disappeared. I did a little hop, and my vision shook enough that I okay. missed it and it flew away, and it just kind of vanished out of perception for me. There it is. Alright, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, it, it's right near a leg. Fuck! It got right in the part right here! Oh no. Alright, I fucking hate that fly. I've killed three of these. Or at least I thought I did. I might have stunned them and they got away. Because it keeps coming back. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we have an infestation or if it's just because I mean, flies... this one fly fucking hates me. I mean, I, I don't know, man. Flies don't live terribly well. That's true. I have said it's been like a week. We must have, like... We must have laid eggs somewhere. But it's weird because I don't. The number of them is not increasing. It's just staying consistently at one. <laughs> just every time I kill it, it comes back. And we're not getting more of them. It's getting the same one again. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's fucking around on the ceiling now. I can't do anything with it. Um, yeah. If you want to, you should definitely try out the mystery dungeon. I, I'd be somewhat interested in trying it out sometime. Not on stream, sorry viewers. <laughs> but um, it's not that it's definitely not a stream. Game. Wait, what is it available for? Uh Switch. Ah, cool. I, mean, I think that's the only one. Yeah. I know, I know the original was Game Boy Advance, right? The original was Game Boy Advance for Red Rescue Team, but then they re-released it for the DS as Blue Rescue Team. Which is this the same? It's the same, it's it's basically version exclusives. So it's not completely the same, but it's like red and blue on the yeah. original line, mainline series. Pretty much. Yeah, um, okay. It's the same enough that you're going to get the same experience either way. Although the DS you, has the two screens, so it did improve the functionality of it. And the Switch one, that's a remake of one of the previous ones? It's a remake of both. Oh shit, so it's like the whole thing. Yeah, you basically... Oh nice, maybe I, I, will, I will definitely get it. I then. think you get all of the version exclusives. In the, re in the most recent one. Ah, sweet. And is that, are, are, is that all the Mystery Dungeon games that exist? No, it's just the re-release of Red and Blue Rescue. No, but I mean, like, what other what other games exist? There's also Explorers of Sky and Dark and Explorers of Darkness. What are those from? Uh, also the DS. Which, okay. and those That's two games are... I lost my DS. Those games are generally considered the highlight of the series. Aw, oh, damn it. Because Explorers of... It was Time and Darkness, but then they re-released it as Explosive Sky, like okay. two years later. Um, it's Pokemon shit. Weird that they keep renaming it like that. Well, it, it also added some extra content at that time. Uh, Instead of just allowing you to have all the version exclusives, it actually released a small uh, And so for that reason, Explorers of Sky is in the credit of two predecessors. That generation is generally considered the highlight of the series. So, Explorers of Sky was a remake of the other two? Sky was a remake of Time and Darkness. Right, so you don't need Time and Darkness to be a Sky, is what I'm asking. Correct. Okay. So, if you want to play the entire experience, you just need yeah. Sky and the new one? 
Sky DX. There's also this one that was released as like beware. Wow. Uh, we we don't talk about that. It's kind of good. Okay. Are they okay? So I know Pokemon typically is not heavy on story, but do these things have story. Are they just yes. one story? Um. Are they a one continuous story or are they just no. new things? It's a new All one right. each time. I'm definitely interested in playing the new one then. Um. The so one. yeah, you. In order to get the you full experience, you yeah. need to play Sky, uh, the new DX one, that one WiiWare one that nobody cares about, uh, Gates to Infinity, which is like an okay game, I sure. guess, and then Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, which is the most complete in terms of Pokemon count. Mm. And content wise. I just personally Mega couldn't get into the first game. Fair enough. The main story was fine, I just could not get into the post game. So I would definitely say that Super Mystery Dungeon is I care more about the main story than post game anyway, so. Um, but yeah, in terms of story, anyways, um, I would actually say that the Mystery Dungeon games have a lot to offer. Really? Because they are. Kind of heavily story focused, actually. This would be so much easier if I had actual controls. Um, they have a pretty deep, they have pretty good stories, actually. Oh, good. The Explorers, the Explorers series, when I first played Explorers of Darkness, actually had, like, brought me to some manly tears <laughs> at one point. Speaking of, uh, tears, uh, so, I cried on a stream recently. <laughs> so, uh, Take take that for what you will. That yeah, good. That's good shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I cried at Spirit Terror on stream. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if you care, so I won't say anything. But, um yeah. Uh, but that game is obviously deliberately sad. Is Spirit Fair for the uh, Switch? I believe they are really similar to the Switch, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I mean, if they release it for Switch, I'll play it on Switch. It's all story and emotional stuff, and it's kind of like a Metroid game, like a um, like a Animal Crossing kind of. Or is the gameplay engaging? I think so, but it can be repetitive. I can see how some people would not like it. You have to really actually care about the story, or else you're not going to be invested. Okay. That's that's what I gotta say. It's not bad. It's just not the focus of the game. Alright. I yeah. get I get that. Yeah. It's basically something to keep you distracted, I guess. Yeah. In between story moments. Literally the most accurate review I can give you is it's Animal, Animal Crossing, except with actually mature Animal writing. Guy. Okay. <laughs> and it basically opens with it being like, Hello, you are a child. You are dead. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically sad studio Ghibli. Kinda, yeah. It actually is kinda studio Ghibli like. Why is this one not completed? I probably didn't get the Kill time. I probably didn't get the time thing. We're really close to finishing all the battles. That's why I'm just doing them. Yeah, this is like we're just past our time. Yeah, this, this is bonus content. Like we don't want to stop the stream just yet. Yeah. But I'd be fine with it. But I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just doing this. Why not? Yeah. I, I mean, do, despite my whining sometimes. I do actually enjoy this game. Yeah, this game ha definitely ha when it when it's good is good. Yeah. And but when it's bad, <laughs> it's real bad. And if you want to know when it's good, just look at these arena battles because these arena battles actually know how to make the combat work. Yeah. Like I said, when it's good, yeah, it's good. So the, my, my, yeah. the reason why I rated it a three out of five is because when it's bad, it's really bad. Yeah, no, I, 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 got, I guess I agree. I think I was just lucky enough that near the end we had mostly good experiences. So yeah. that kind of uh, shifted my uh, that would have been bad. Definitely shifted my uh, rating a little bit positive. Definitely after the um, huge Robo Golem. Yeah. It was mostly just good shit. Yeah. With the exception of the fact that you have to pay to win, basically. Yeah. If we actually didn't have a good method of grinding, I would definitely say that it would solidify the 3 out of 5 yeah. rating. But because it was such an easy grind, it was not that bad. Yeah. So, there's that at least. Yeah. Um, I sure hope that <laughs> getting through the uh, 
uh, the student game isn't going to be too much of a hassle. Because I really want to play, uh, I think I already know. Because I really do want to play, um, I do want to play the Bios Oh yeah. Yeah, I fucking think. I'm gonna just have to do it again and just be less of an idiot. Do it again. Do it again. Um. I swear I can fucking do this. It's pissing me off that I haven't. I hate time challenges. Or no hit challenges. Just, I, I just give me something really tough to fight. Don't don't fucking require something specific of me. I don't know. It can be done well. I just think that it's hard for games to do this shit well. I I kind of just hate them on principle. Sorry. That's just a matter of opinion on me on my part. But I I, mean, I generally just if you put them in the game, I'm not gonna like it. It doesn't matter if they're done well. Or not. If, I just don't like the concept. If the time limit is generous enough, you know I'm I'm. Pretty good. I guess. But if the time limit is generous, then it's like. What's the point? Yeah, what's the point of the time limit at all? I don't know. Basically, have a feeling of urgency. I guess. If it's just for the feeling. Okay, so of if there's a story reason for it, right? Like, if you're in like an exploding facility and you need to break out, sure, whatever, fine by me. Yeah. But uh, just random for no reason. Time limits bug the hell out of me. Maybe I'm sort of biased because the Metroid <laughs> series is full, full of, of fucking time challenges. Yeah. But it's mostly just to give you a sense of urgency. It's not really... I know I'm not the popular opinion on this, but I'm just saying my opinion is I hate the on principle. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's mostly just there to say, like, hey, you should probably get moving and don't draw them. Yeah. Like, they're generous enough to them. I, yeah, can only, I can only think of one instance where the time limit was not generous at all. And that was in one of the less liked Metro games. Yeah. <laughs> so That's funny. It, I was like, well, it's funny. Where the fuck are you, man? I can't kill you if I don't know where you are. I've got to kill fucking what? Like, ten more of you in ten seconds? Luckily, I haven't been killing you, so it shouldn't allow me to kill you. Hopefully. I'm out of ammo and I'm gonna leave. I need to fucking kill two. One. I ah! need to kill fucking one. I can't fucking believe this game did this to me. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> yeah, but it's like when I when I see Mario Maker levels, you know? Yeah. Um, and people put the fucking time limit on your Mario Maker level. Like well, I mean, obviously there is a time limit by default. But, but I mean like when people when people decrease the time limit to make it actually tight, I'm like, no, I'm not playing your level, sorry. I just not interested. Well, I mean if you decrease it to at least give a sense of what you're gonna do. Like, yeah, that's what I don't want. Instead of, of it just being like, um, 999 all the time, if it's like 500 seconds... 500 is the maximum. Or, uh, whatever. And that's what I put it at, because I don't like time limits. I know that, mo I'm, I know that most of the games in the series put it at like something like 400 seconds. And you, and you don't even notice that there is a time limit most of the time. Yeah, if it's like 400 or 300 seconds, I could understand you putting that at that number, if it's like, oh, I want it to be more along the lines of a regular Mario game, so I'm going to actually have it have a, like, at, 300 at is least... the default, and it's usually pretty okay. I, I want, 500 is the maximum, and that's what I put it at when I remember to do it. So at least, if it's like 300, it's like, oh, it's like a regular Mario level, you gotta be at least 300. Sure. Hurrying your way through. Sure, that's fine. It's, but it's when, as, it's but when it, the time limit is like the feature of the level that I fucking need. Yeah, that, that's that's my final verdict. If you're trying to make me beat the buzzer, then fuck you. Yeah. But if it's just there to be like, hey, don't fuck around. Ross does it all the time in the level and I fucking hate it. If it's like just there to say don't fuck, fuck around, take this seriously, then I'm fine. Then I'm fine. Yeah. Then I'm fine. I'm gonna fail by much more this time than I did last time. Well, it wasn't much more, but it was more. Well, we got, I guess we should really take stock of what worked and what didn't. Right. Yeah, I should just stop using the fucking heavy lancer and the saws. They're just not that good. I'm just diverting to them because my OCD demands that I use the ammo in order, which I realize is idiotic. But it's just something I do. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the mini nuke. All right, let's just play like a normal person. The mini nuke has good DPS. Um, these things were good. These things that I put here, the these mega, are good. The mega turrets are pretty boss. Yeah, having fucking shit that does things for me, definitely good for DPS. That is fine. I'm gonna do it. Then, however, I'm going to switch to the mini nuke instead of the heavy lancer. The heavy lancer only kills one thing. Yeah, and it does so relatively slowly too. My opinion. Like I could, like those things that charge at you, I can pump like yeah. hours of lead into those things. And then I'm with the heavy lancer. Well, I don't know. It's good against solo bombs. Right. Yeah, I don't know why it's good against we solo melted, bosses, but it is. Because we melted them ratchet. Yeah, we did. I still call it into a fem ratchet. So. Because it's accurate. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Um. We were talking about time limits, but we kind of reached the end of that. Yeah, no, we reached the end of that discussion. I just, I, I, it's not that I don't have anything to say right now. It's that I'm just focused on doing this. I just no, want to actually do this. I understand. There we go. Okay, That's all I had to we do. We finally did. Yeah. Uh, I think there's also that one arena where we fight that giant mecha in the first arena in the game. First arena. Yeah, there was one arena like in space. Okay, I'll go back to and that. I guess. And we didn't do that yet. Yeah. Um, because I guess for completeness sake. Yeah. Here comes the part where I reveal that I was lying, and it actually is that I have nothing else to say. So, Jacob, what, what do you have to say? <laughs> um, I have to say that, um, my time completing Xenoblade Chronicles was probably less time than it took you farming all those silver ones. Because... Possibly. We did the map earlier, so... Yeah, because you... Like, how many hours do you think it took you to kill all this? I actually don't know. I could check uh, after we edit the stream. Um, because I probably have hours logged in. Because I want to say that after I basically 100%ed uh, my file in Xenoblade and then completed the epilogue, um, which is its own file, because yeah. data doesn't transfer over, because the epilogue was released way after the base game. Sure. Um, Do we know what it was called? It, I was... Uh, it might have been... This is the first place, so yeah. it's got to be somewhere bef bef after this. Hold on. That might have been it. Yeah, that looks like a dome. The Thug Rendezvous? No, this is a ship thing. No, fuck. It's, it was before the Thug Rendezvous. I know It that was? Much. Yeah. Okay. It, I think it must be the Mactar Resort. Yeah, I guess it is. Cause look, it's got a yeah, big, big ass dome looking. Thing. Um, yeah. But I saying. know that after you beat the, after I completed the main game and completed the epilogue, yeah, as much as you can. I didn't max out my level because you don't care. The highest level enemies in the epilogue are only like fuck that. I'm not getting. Yeah. I'm not grinding to 99 on weak shit. Yeah, that's fair. So... Hey, die. Hey, and they actually do. In one fucking hit. Okay. Just use the jetpack. This thing? Yeah. Dude, Ratchet & Clank definitely is one of those game series where it starts off feeling really fucking clunky, mm -hmm. and then as we get more and more options, it actually ends up, like, by the end, feeling really fucking cool. Yeah. It's one of the few games where accretion actually is good for the game. What like, do you mean accretion? Like, you know how some games you just get a whole bunch of shit and it dilutes the core experience of the game? Yeah. You're saying that consistently getting new shit is, like, plays to this game's strengths. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, part, part of the... Uh, yeah, that, you basically made my point for me. That I, just, I was just trying to understand what accretion meant, sorry. Yeah, like, not, not a word I know. Part... Oh, weird. No. I'm not even shooting him. <laughs> I'm just using Minion Mancy against him. Yeah, it works. Yes. 
To be what was hit even the challenge? Not to be hit. 60 seconds. Oh no, it was. Whatever. 16, 60. 16, 60 probably isn't too bad. Although I should have started by doing this, not by doing what I did. And bar. Like this thing's good against small enemies. This can just wipe out a few of them once. It's just bad against things that have any health at all. Um. Well, yeah, after completing the main file in my epilogue file, I realized that completing the epilogue file unlocks new content for the main game. Oh, shit. So I actually had to go back and grind out some, like, useless shit for my main file for, like, ten hours. Which consisted of, I believe... Completing one more time attack challenge, S ranking it, and the time attacks are going to be the top level. Um, yeah, I guess. And grinding out all of the advanced art books. What the fuck does that mean? It's a challenge. I should have bought ammo. Now it's a real mega challenge. If I if I win this without buying ammo, it does not deserve to be called a fucking mega challenge. Probably for the point in time when you unlock the chance to play. Fair enough. Sorry. I it's probably a mega challenge. But unlocking all of the uh, master art manuals for every art in the game for every <laughs> character. Nice. Well done. Mind you that each character has 16 arts that they can use, minus Shulk, who only has 8, and his Monado arts don't get art <laughs> okay. So that's 6 times... Why did I want to do that? I, I did the math. It's 6 characters times 16. Yeah. Plus 8. Which is 104 different attacks that characters can use. Yeah. For each of those 104 attacks, there's an advanced manual. Yeah. How do you unlock the advanced manual? You have to complete time attack. Oh, shit. I fucking, yeah, I fucking hate time limits. Um, but at least in the free, free battle mode, the rewards are greatly reduced, but you can kill families really quickly. Ah, uh, so you can use that to use the time attack then? Yes and no. And let me explain very clearly for you. Okay. The reward for completing um, the, the most efficient free mode after, in that game it takes about 45 seconds to one minute in order to cycle through all the loading screens and kill the one in the And it gives you... Oh, this is why it's called Mega Challenge. I'm gonna end up having to fight all the fucking challenges. The two bosses, probably, too. Because here's the first boss. If the B2 fucking battler thing shows up, then this will actually be pretty cool. Sorry. He's already dead! Ha! <laughs> 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 no, that was it! I didn't have to kill the B2 girl. That's good. Um, but yeah, and so it takes... <laughs> this is gonna be pretty cool. Sorry. Continue. So it takes 45 seconds, and your reward is usually 64,000 uh, coins, right? Mm -hmm. It takes 20,000 coins in order to buy one advanced art man. Wait, repeat that? I, I didn't do the math in my head on that one. It so takes 45 seconds. 45 seconds to earn 64,000 coins. Yeah. You trade 20,000 coins for one manual. Mm -hmm. And there are 104 manuals. So, the end of the four divided by... I don't know. The end result... Can't do math anyway. Welcome back. Is anybody die? I'm just 
still taking hits and just fucking flying through and just killing you. <laughs> but the end result is that um, it basically took me like seven hours of just straight grinding. I fired one bullet and it took all of his health except for like a sliver. Yeah. Did you see that? I, I saw that. Jeez. I think he. I love it. I think the health bar is actually carry over after they tag out. So right. you brought him down. Uh, hang like, on, I'm gonna do that again because I want to see that. You brought him down from like 50 percent to 20 percent. Yeah, I think that. No, look! Oh, yeah. Okay. It, okay, it's actually better to not hit him, I see. Yeah, so they tag out, and his health carries him. Yeah, so it's better to not hit him, because then all the orbs hit him. Two shots. Two shots, I'll kill him. Ready? If the other one actually hits him. Yeah, so now they tag out, because I ain't exactly. wrong. I can't believe it! Chain Blade has been defeated! Alright, I'm gonna shoot this one out. I, did, I only hit this guy once before. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot a second one, so I've only hit him twice, and see what happens. I've only, I've only shot twice. Damn it, it didn't kill him. I really wanted to kill him with two hits. Oh well. Okay. That's pretty great. Um, so yeah, after I thought I had done everything, I still had like seven to eight more hours of grinding to do, and wow. I was pretty upset. I get that. Um, that sucks. And yeah, I actually timed it out before doing all the grinding to figure out how long it would take, and it Something that rated like, as you as you understand. Yeah. What do you give? I would definitely. Fire? Uh, I actually don't think I'm qualified to give that a rate because I wasn't the one. You weren't sure. playing it. So I would say that the story was definitely great, but I actually abstained from rating because Fair I wasn't. The one. Fair I played it and watched somebody else play it. So it is my favorite game by my favorite company. Okay. I fucking love that game. I'm sure that I would have loved it if I was As long as you weren't playing the keyboard. <laughs> the keyboard controls in that game are infamously ass. <laughs> Which is a real shame. Because it means a lot of people will just dismiss it for no reason other than that. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of gamers use, like, a, they, like, plug in a real control. There's a fair, there's a fairly large group that deliberately refused to do that. Yeah, all the console or PC, PC master race games too. People who are like, you use a controller, pleb. Oh, I thought that the majority of training was that you plug in a controller to play PC. No, no, people will fucking give you shit for using a joystick because mouse is apparently better. However, that is primarily for aiming. It's still a fact I disagree with, but um, when they're talking about that, they're talking about aiming. I mean, so for maybe. I mean, for per first-person shooters, yeah, fun. But for other games, like not, it's gotta be. A game. Uh, Super Meat Boy specifically tells you to aim that. Not that that's relevant to this discussion. I mean, it is slightly relevant to this discussion. It's just not, it's just a really weird example I'm just picking up on it. So, I will say, I actually want you, at some point, to play the game, and hopefully we can do it on the stream or something. Ooh, I mean, because I know... It would have to be recorded, not streamed, because I can't yeah. stream uh, Switch. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I know, figured you did that. I know you roped me into Ratchet playing Ratchet and Clank, which, which is one of your... Yeah. Which is one of your babies. And that is definitely a huge time investment. Um, so, I want to return the favor. I'll have to try it. 
the game doesn't start off very great because it does take a lot of time using the other things yeah. before things get good. But when things get good, you know. Okay. okay. There's a very specific part, like three hours in, that basically changes everything. Yeah. And it's like, this game is alright, but the gameplay is weird, too. This game is weird. Cool. And you'll know exactly what it is. Fair enough. I've had moments like that, and I definitely love those moments. Mm -hmm. um, really rock your socks off moments, like, yeah. eh, this game's fine, and then suddenly, holy shit, this is like the best fucking game. I also have to say that Xenoblade has one of the... It also has one of the best realized worlds in the game. Okay. In the sort of game first. Are we okay? So are we talking one and two? Um, just one. because one and two are only connected by like one very thin piece of thread. Okay. And you have your two. Games. It's basically they're not. Okay. Xenoblade One and Xenoblade Two. You should probably treat them as completely different games. All right. For all intents. And that's interesting. I can't Which really, one's the better one? I can't really say anything without causing massive spoilers. Yeah, I understand. But Which one's the better one? In my opinion, one. Because okay. two changed a lot. Gameplay or uh, story? Both. Both? Um, I know that a lot of people really swear by two and yeah. say that 2 is, like, the best. And I will say that 2 definitely has a better realized combat system. The problem is that their vision is not the vision that I like. And it's just like, yeah, you balanced it better, but it doesn't mean I enjoy it. Is it kind of like how you were talking about how you like some Final Fantasy games, but you don't seem to value the same things that the big Final Fantasy fans tend to value? Yeah. Similar concept, anyway. Kind of like it. Also, also the first game starts off like ass. At least, really? at least from like the game. Like, oh boy. And I think I, the best way to describe this is to understand that you basically in the second, in the first game, you have eight arts and you have a talent. So that's nine things to do. Yeah. Um. In the second game, you have three blades and each that you can use. Each of those blades has each of those blades has three arts and an individual talent art. Okay. So you technically have twelve arts you can use at any given time. Interesting. But in reality, it's never that good. Okay. Because. Until, like, 40% of your way through the game, you can only use two blades equipped at any one time. And... So that's really only three parts. And also, you need to change blades in order to change things a different suite of arts. And also, each of these, each of the individual arts doesn't feel as unique, because they really simplified the art system to almost everything is an attack that has a secondary Okay. There's never like any dedicated buffs or healing moves aside from the base. There are a small amount of dedicated healing moves. There's all, as far as I remember, my memory might be good. There are no buffs. Um, there are some attacks that do buff. But it doesn't you know right. what I mean? Right, okay. And there are some attacks that maybe spawns a healing potion. So that's how they do their art system. And obviously you have to change your blades around to use different arts. Mm -hmm. um, but that's one thing that, like, okay, it, doesn't, it feels clunky. Sure. And the final nail in the coffin, really, 
to me at least. That'd be all the fucking cars you've done. <laughs> yeah. It didn't doesn't take long when you're done. Yeah. But the final nail in the coffin to me for this shit was that until you get further in the oh, game. Where did I put the fucking... It's there. It must have come undone somewhere. Oh. Okay, it seems we're good now. Weird. It doesn't matter, I'm ending this anyway. Yeah. Uh, we can continue having this conversation, but we can do so off. Alright, yeah. I'm... We've done. I've done everything there is to do except for ship missions, and God knows I'm not doing those, and so... And getting the Rhino, but we're not getting the Rhino. Oh, I guess I could buy shit so that we hopefully have it carry over next time? We but we can do that in a minute. But we're not doing that on stream. Yeah, we don't need to do it on stream. It won't do anything anyway. So, thanks for watching. Stay interesting. We ended a while ago, but stay here you go. Here's some random shit. Stay interesting, my friends. And you did.